business. Okay. Yes. Uh, so my name is Carla Cabral, and I am here with Direct Action Everywhere. Okay. And so, and so are you here to? Um, I'm here to, to talk to you all. And okay. So this is a time for public comment. Exactly. So yes. This is a definitely a public comment. Right. Okay. So so we have. Um, so there's process and so absolutely so, so the only right. thing we're accepting is a if, if you support the bill or oppose this piece of legislation and it's done from the microphone i understand that and i want to say that i was very excited to come here today in order to be part of a historic vote on the factory farm moratorium bill ab 2764 so that's not on our and agenda that that's bill has been item. completely rewritten due to pressure this. Okay, so at this time, uh, at this time, right, I understand. we're continuing to take testimony but you need to take seriously uh, what's for happening in the environment. For Assembly and Bill 1678. And that bill was not even allowed to be deferred due to pressure by this committee. This bill, the No More Factory Farms bill, should have been heard. And I'm here to make sure that that happens. Thousands of Californians took action in order to support that bill as a factory farm moratorium. And we so are all time, outraged that you have that not on the this agenda, bill that to be bill. a study. We already understand the environmental devastation that is happening due to animal agriculture. And it's a travesty so time, that you recess. will not even Five hear minutes. the voices of all Californians. The Agriculture Committee is supposed to represent the interests of all Californians, not just those that are lining the pockets of the people that are here and that are in, that are in part funded by this devastating industry. This No More Factory Farms bill was supported by over 150 different organizations and businesses in California. They submitted letters of support and they want this to be heard. The factory farms that are in California draw vast amounts of water from the Colorado River and release greenhouse gases into our atmosphere, heating it up and reducing water flow even more. If you pretend to care about our quality of water, and our quality of life in California, you would take this bill seriously. I understand that there are lots of bills, but, but this needed to be heard. And that's all that we were asking for, is for it to be heard in its original form. There were almost 2,000 individual Californians that wrote a letter of support to you and you won't even hear this bill. It's an absolute travesty. Senate, uh, Assemblymember Mathis was contacted by Alexandra Paul, and he reached out and said that he would have her go to a factory farm and do a tour, and yet that is not happening. We have done studies ourselves showing the incredible amount of animal abuse that happens and we have reported that to the CDFA, who is who you would want to lead this study. And when we have presented clear animal abuse to the CDFA, they will not press any charges. And there is already loads of studies that have been done. You can go on the Environmental Protection Agency's website and see how much animal agriculture is contributing to our climate crisis. The IPCC just released only days ago their own report showing the devastation caused by animal agriculture. And they cited many studies showing that it is important not just to take this seriously, but that we need to pass laws that change the demand, but also the supply, which means no more factory farms. We weren't asking for anything other than to have no more expansion or construction of new factory farms in California. There have been many studies done. So to say that you want studies done in California 
Nothing is different about how much water pollution occurs, runoff from these animal factory facilities. I have a list here of people who signed letters of support. A, Abram, A.G. Kukulon, Aiden, Cannon, Aaron, Ruiz, Abigail, St. Surin, Adam, Tinkum. These are all people, Californians, that you are ignoring. Adam, Petzer, Adela, Gonzalez, Adriana, Kunta, Adonaya, Diamond, Aiden, Bloom, Arian, Ballin, Alan Taylor, Alan Barnard, Alan Penizola, Alejo Saravia, Elaine Anello, Alex Areza, Alex Hart, Alex Weishaus, Alexander Taylor, Alexandra Phelan, Alexandra Freeman, Alexandra Trell, Alexandra Paul, Alexandra Cortez, Alexia Armendariz, Alexis Santurio, Alexis Scott, Alfred Guzman, Al Rahimi, Alice Savage, Alicia Albeck, Alicia Senosia, Alida Baker, Allison Gunter, Allison Stone, Allison Luti, Alisa Reed, Alma Gunter, Alma Spaulding, Almira Tanner, Alicia Lauper, Alma Greenrose Manasa. I want to also say that we are not naive here. This organization has tried very hard to work within the confines of the system. We have tried very hard to follow the rules. But when we have met with assembly members, even these assembly members tell us that you have to play the game, the game of politics. Well, it's not a game. People's lives are at stake. We know that our democracy is corrupt by the money that's in politics, and that these industries are lining your pockets, keeping our voices from being heard. Voices like Amber Evie, Amelia Reese, Amy Albright, Amy Goldstein, Amy Davis, Ann Tran, Anna Rodriguez, Anna Bertero, Anna Goldberg, Anna Martinez, Anna M. Hall, Andrea Vega, Andrea Campbell, Andrea Belgrade, Andrea Bergasser, Andrea Anzuris, Andrew Saunders. The fact that you won't even hear this is unconscionable. Our future is at risk. Do you support you factory farms, Revis? For you to not take this seriously. Andrew Sharo, Andre Losa, Andy Viss, Angel Tafola, Angelica Bonrus. All of these people wanted this bill simply to be heard. If you were all going to vote no on it, that was fine, but they wanted it to be heard. And one person, an unelected official, should not have broad sweeping ability to keep these bills from being heard. Anisha Dessel, Anita Chris, Anita Flora, Angelica Houston, Ann Cohen, Ann Vaughn, Ann Henning. Anna Kidd, Ann Smith, Ann McGuire, Ann Marie Freely, Anthony Cameron, Anthony Jones, Antonelle Rosellis, Antonia Moore, Antonia Grabby, Antonia Moore, 
Anthony White, Anurag Woa, Aparajita Sud, Arabe Merzikaya, Ari G, Aria Soprano, Ariel Ryan. All these voices being silent. Arlene Stone, Artemis Papadakis, Ashley Ulrich, Ashley Milo, Ashley Komara, Ashwell Cannon. Do not forget that these people's voices were not allowed to be heard. The No More Factory Farm will deserve to have a hearing. Audrey Ocko, Avery Quinn, Ayla Orion, Aisha Mureshi, Balaji Venkataraman, Barbara 